I cannot believe we just broke GitHub. Fuck! All right, it is currently 1 a.m. and I decided to do something that will change the world somehow. So I wanna create like a package or a function or whatever that will help programmers stop crying that much. So I started thinking about all the possible problems you can face, hunger or war. But then I realized something more important and it is that everyone needs to know when a number is even. That shit is like so important. So this is what I'm gonna do. We want to create an NPM package that everyone can use for their project. So for that, we need in JavaScript. So I'm gonna create function is event that takes uh, one parameter, I guess. I'm gonna call it number and uh, that's it. Now we need to check if that number is even or, or not. That's the whole idea. If number is equal to one, then return full because it's not even. Now else if number is equal to two, then return true because it's even. And now we keep going. Else if number is equal to three, number to four, to five, six, and <sighs> Okay, that, that took a pretty long time. All right, so here's the final result of uh, at least the first 10 numbers. So I think I cannot do this alone. So of course, I'm gonna need help from my Noob Coder gang. I'm working on a project, but I think I need a little bit of your help. So I went from one to 10. That's not enough. I think I need all the numbers in the world. Let's try to make this project complete. All right, so it has been already like 20 minutes and we have our first pull request. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ipomaker. So Ipomaker are the guys that have been feeding me with mechanical keyboards for the past months. And this time they decided to send me this beauty right here, the Ipomaker NT68. And let me tell you, this keyboard is unique because it is extremely extremely versatile and flexible. And it also comes with this case right here. Let me just show so you. So yeah, it includes this carrying case that also works as a stand. What? So all you have to do is just unfold it like this and then just try to fold it like this and then you get the, the stand. But yeah, this is a 65% mechanical keyboard that is designed for creators, developers, gamers, and actually anyone that is seeking for great performance and that wants to carry their keyboard wherever they go. But let me show you real quick what makes this keyboard so unique. So if you take the case and you fold it like this, voila, it becomes a stand. And now you can set your phone here or your tablet. I don't have a tablet, so I just put my phone. And it also can connect up to three devices so I can put my other phone right here and use them both. I can also put my AC remote here that I know it doesn't work, but I don't have a third phone. But in case I get hot, I can just accidentally really quick like this. But what if you're a person that me that hates laptop keyboards as much as McDonald's burgers? Well, you can actually take the keyboard out of the stand. Then you take your laptop and boom, it fits perfectly on top of it, like Lana Rhodes. I'm not lying, it's actually perfect, look at that. And let me be honest, this keyboard is comfy as hell. Not only is it extremely light and thin, bro, but the quality is so good. Like, I've been trying this keyboard for the past two weeks and it has become my favorite one and my main one. Mine has chocolate blue switches and check the sound, bro. Yeah, uh, I also got turned on. So mine is the high profile version, but you can also get the low profile one, you know, because if you enjoy short sh well, <laughs> You know what I'm saying. So if you would like to get the early bird price for this beauty right here, just become a backer at the key started using the link in my description. I promise you, bro, you will not regret it. All right, thank you, Maker, for sponsoring this video, and let's just go back. So let, let's review any of them, like this one, some shitty code, the last one. And let's see, the files change. No, what the f is this? If number module of two is equal to zero, return true. What the f This is so efficient so no this kind of code is a piece of sh what the f this is terrible i'm so disappointed the first pull request i review and i f hate it all right let's review another one all right so this pull request is by swastik 1308 and he said tough contribution let's see he actually just added the number 11. that is a short improvement but it's actually an improvement not like the piece of f what's his name typhoon 12 yeah F you confirm merge okay let's go for this one that is update index.js and let's code what what are you doing what the f are you doing the idea is that you continue the code not remove the code that i wrote he basically said sam f you and let's take every single thing that you did and just put it to the trash the idea is that we continue with every single number in this world is that hard to be that shitty bro let's go back to conversation and add a comment too efficient be more shitty thank you oh i like this one bro give me the poo bro let's see what he did all right so he just rewrote the function he added a variable called your mom equal to two <laughs> you're not funny 
Ali, bro, you are a piece of sh. Okay, let's go to this one by Samrat2007. Fit added odd and even checker. That that seems interesting. Let's see. <sighs> I'm just getting get angry. Anyways, let's move on. I just made this thing overpowered. Okay, let's see what he did. I'm not even going to get mad. I'm just gonna write you. All right, let's see the last one. Update index.js. That's easy. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. So he added the numbers from 12 to 49. This is actually, I love it. I just love it. Wait, one second. He just Close the pull request. You know, Swaminath, Shiju, I used to like you. No, I f***ing hate you. Whatever, let's go to another pull request, I guess. I like this one. He said, add in numbers, just 30,000. It is by this guy called Hyper Beastie. Oh, wow. So he added 29,992 lines. And that's so long that GitHub just said, f*** you, I ain't gonna show it. How can I see? Oh my God. This is... Beautiful. All right, so so far I think we were at 12 and now this guy made it so so long. He made it to 30,000. Let's search for 69. 69 return false. Oh, but it's conflicting. I gotta let him know. Please fix it. Clover Joy says, well, yeah, until infinity. I don't I don't trust this guy. Bio says, make things happen with lines of code. Who the f*** are you? A programmer or George Washington? Okay, so you remove all my code and let... Uh, I mean, your code is just seven lines long. That's that's not enough. You gotta understand. When you're a programmer, the larger the code, the better. <laughs> oh, wait. Hyper Beastie commented, don't be a coward. Abandon all shortcuts and face the problem like a courageous programmer. Write it manually. <laughs> Hyper Beastie, I f love you, bitch. I think we don't have more pull requests for today. Oh no, yeah, we have one. Up to 120, boy. Let's see, by Sarang T123. And he commented, pull request. All right, so he started from 11 to, yeah, 120. That's actually good. Hyper Beastie just commented here too. Keep up the good work. Okay, this one by Krish. Ag. Simply use number module two. You. I'm not even gonna review your pull request. You just don't worth my time. All right, but since that our friend Hyperbeast already fixed his pull request, but we have Lamer Gamer YouTube that he made it until 50,000. He says update a program to detect if a number is odd or even up to 50,000. Ah, uh, we didn't need that stupid explanation. You already said it here. Okay, he actually made it until 50,000. Jesus Lord Christ. But I wanna leave him a comment, so I'm just gonna search for a random emoji. And I'm just gonna paste that there and merge pull request. So far, we've done a great improvement until 50,000. Jesus Christ. Ah, I'm sad for Hyper Beastie. You know, he has made a great job. Okay, one second. So our boy Hyper Beastie fixed it for the third time. So here's his pull request. Other number 69,999. Let's make sure there are no errors. Yeah, I can merge it. So what should I put in his comment? Let's actually search for something smart. Braces by, I don't know, Eminem. I'm standing up. I'm gonna face my demons. I'm manning up. I'm gonna hold my ground. Ah, that actually sounds cool. And let's leave that comment. And now let's merge pull request and confirm merge. Awesome, Hyper Beastie. You fucking made it, bro. You know, it is funny because this is my must start GitHub repo. I started it like one hour ago and it already has 23 stars. So here's my advice for all you noob coders. Don't try hard, try stupid. Because that's the reason why TikTok is famous, you know? But yeah, whatever. Don't listen to me. I'm just a fucking loser. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave it until here for today. Um, no, let me give you guys an update. So the repo has been up for like two days and it just went viral. So today I checked my Discord and they sent me this Reddit post. That has 6.9k upvotes and 466 comments. And I know that shit may not be like a lot, but the repo now has 202 stars and it has been downloaded 170 times. But let me show you the improvement we have done. So I think the video we left at 69,000. Right now we are at 1 million and 1. That is motherfucking crazy insane. 
So let's go and check some issues. Jit Milo says, can someone make a version that checks if it's out? Really need this. And there's a huge discussion. Then Stone Lab says, this is a much needed feature. And you know, because I care a lot about the community, I went ahead and created another repo for that. So here we have another package called is out. All right, but now let me show you some crazy pull requests. Like this one, add string value checks. The package currently cannot parse strings, which will be useful additional functionality. Example, is even, and if you pass the string one, should also return false. And then he said, I suggest we merge because 69. I agree. He literally went number by number checking if it's equal to one, if it's equal to string one, if it's equal to the string to the word one, and so on for the first 20 numbers. Yo, this is just wonderful. And you see what happens when you start helping the community? We get to be wonderful stuff. See, I like to see myself as a great mind. You know, Steve Jobs did Apple, Zuckerberg did Facebook, and I did this. Yeah. But all right, I really like this. And then merge pull request. Anyway, another pull request. Let's see. 69% chances of correct answer. This code will work for all the numbers and has a 69% chance of showing the correct output if the number is greater than 1 million. Clearly efficient as it has 69% more chance of getting a correct answer than Samuel having a 69. All right, fair enough. All right, so if the number is greater than 1 million and 1, then it will return false based on a probability of 69%. I think this is great and funny as f but this could potentially give you a wrong answer. And you know what? We don't want to confuse noob coders, so I cannot accept this. And let's just check one more pull request because this video is getting longer than my dick when I see Lana Rose, bro. This one, saving unnecessary work, you don't need to check the numbers one by one. No, sh Sherlock! You know, this guy Keox trying to explain and sound smart saying that we need to use the module operator, you know what? That sh doesn't work. This is not going to work. The function module does not exist. Please inform you next time before sending. Honestly, I'm not going to insist on a thread that seems more troll than something useful. I suggest that before saying that it doesn't work, try it. You see, this is what happens when you make a programmer cry. They just turn into a bitch. Then Chris Miller says, current approach is best practice. This fancy modulus operator is too untested for prod environment. I agree with that. We should never use that sh Let me tell you, this is what I I am for to create such a great community of smart people that know shit. But yeah, that was the update. I never thought this code would bring that much of attention. So I'm so proud that this is my must start GitHub repo. Now I can add this to my resume very proudly or not. But anyways, I already recorded the outro, so I'm not gonna do that again, so let's go back to that. If you wanna contribute on this beautiful project and keep helping the community, I'm just gonna link the repo below. Alright, so that was it for this week's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Samuel L. Miller and join my Discord server, the Noob Coders Gang. All the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching and until then, ciao! Mami, muévete, que tu abalado te ha dicho otra vez Que tu mala santa ya sabe como es, como es Y la santa canta a todo el mundo